Hi, I'm Eric Franklin, and today we're taking a first look at the Motorola Droid Zyborg 8.2. The original Zoom was the first honeycomb tablet released. Now we have Motorola's follow-up, the Droid Zyborg 8.2, also known as the Zoom 2 in other countries. The Zyborg is only a hair thicker than the iPad 2 and weighs less than a pound. It feels pretty comfortable to hold, but the pseudo pointy corners are somewhat distracting as they tend to dig into our palms. The Zyborg is surrounded by this rubbery outer casing, but reinforced with a metal backside. The tablet includes micro USB and micro HDMI, as well as a SIM card slot. There's a headphone jack and infrared sensor at the top. The power slash lock button and volume rocker are awkwardly placed on the back. And while the volume rocker depresses nicely, the power button is embedded a bit too deeply and can sometimes be difficult to press as a result. There's a 1.3 megapixel camera on the front and a 5 megapixel camera on the back. And given the relatively small size of the tablet, it's pretty easy for your fingers to make unexpected appearances in photos and videos. The IPS screen provides good viewing angles and a pretty high brightness. The Zyborg ships with Honeycomb 3.2, but will be upgradable to Ice Cream Sandwich at a later date. The tablet uses Verizon's 4G LTE network, and there is no word yet on a Wi-Fi only version. The Zyborg is available starting at $430 for 16 gigabytes and $530 for the 32 gigabyte version. Check out the full written review for more complete and detailed impressions. I'm Eric Franklin, and this has been a first look at the Motorola Joy Zyborg 8.2. What's up, Brian Tong here, and if you want the scoop for all the good and bad inside the Apple world, then the only thing you should be watching is CNET's Apple Byte. I'll give you the latest news, rumors, tips, apps of the week, and even call out the bad apples. So watch it all at CNET.com slash Apple and I'll see you there.